after the cyclone and we found the destruction on the school. Uh, most of the children have lost everything. They just managed to escape with the clothes on their back. Yeah, so the first day on site, a few houses were not too bad, but most of them were a bit worse for wear leaning over. And this building here was um, just a floor. The roofs and the walls were completely up in the hills. Uh, it is crucial to get the children back at school because they are leaving the destruction that's in the village and they're getting back to something that they're used to every day. And I believe that that would be able to help them with the trauma that they've been through. So we started with a floor and from there uh, build some new walls, roof, lay the, lay the iron and chuck some doors and windows in. It was a bit of a challenge. In the heat it was quite hard having to stop for water quite a bit. But um, once you finish it, it's quite a good feeling to see that there was literally nothing there and now there's um, a pretty cool structure that uh, the kids can go to school in on Monday. School has begun once again after the four weeks. Uh, it's nice to have the children back in good spirits and I'm sure you can get the background uh, noise with the children. They're happy to be back at school, meeting their friends after the long break. So this is just to get them back on their feet and from there the locals the kids, they can all help out and make it really their own. It's really nice seeing something that um, there was nothing and now there's something. And it gives you really a good sense of, a good feeling to walk away from a big structure, especially one like this that helps people out. I would like to thank the New Zealand Defence Forces, especially the group who had uh, worked on the school, and we hope that uh, this friendship will remain forever.